Well, the recent charges against St. Louis City Alderman and their subsequent resignations has made national news. And this week's Legal Lens, Fox 2's Vic Fowles talks with Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about what has happened from a legal standpoint. What exactly happened from the legal standpoint so people can understand? So a federal grand jury charged them with basically accepting bribes from small business owners um, in exchange for legislation authorizing property tax breaks or special contracts. Uh, Reed was charged with two counts of bribery. Uh, the allegations say that um, he took money in exchange for getting city contracts for his trucking company. Uh, Boyd was charged with two counts of bribery as well, and he also faces a separate indictment um, for wire fraud relating to the allegations that he made insurance claims for damages on vehicles he didn't own. And then Mahab, Collins Muhammad was charged with two counts of bribery and one charge of honest service bribery and fr wire fraud. But okay, so with that being said, what actually constitutes the crimes? And I guess more so, um, what are the consequences? So there are several state statutes and or in a city ordinance that's really at play here. Um, and it's everywhere from bribery to misdemeanors. So there's a Missouri state statute that makes it a felony for any um, public servant to accept a benefit or a bribe. Um, direct or indirect for votes. Uh, there's another statute in Missouri that makes it a misdemeanor for any public servant to knowingly receive any fear reward um, in exchange for any favor. And then finally, there's a city ordinance that basically says any officer or employee should not grant any gifts or favors in their official capacity. Okay, so the FBI came in what constitutes that? What brought the FBI in from a federal standpoint? So the FBI uh, got involved, basically uh, premised on the Missouri laws that we just talked about that were violated or that they allege were violated. Um, there is federal uh, codes that make it a federal crime for any state employee, including an alderman who's an agent of, city, of the city of St. Louis to solicit or demand bribes in excess of $5,000. Another law um, for the United States Code is that it's a federal crime to mail or basically use any federal facility um, in interstate commerce. Here it was a cell phone. Vic Faust, Fox 2 News.